Today, I built a working RC rocket ship inside build a for Treasure. Rocket ships are pretty cool, but having a mini RC version for yourself is even better. This RC rocket can take you anywhere throughout the build map. You can kidnap people and make it to the end almost every time. This build is mobile friendly, so all you mobile players can actually build it. We're trying to hit 35,000 subscribers, so if you enjoy, please subscribe. It's completely free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy! Alright, so we're back inside of Bilbo for Treasure, and right over here, we have the RC Rocket. It's a little mini version of an actual rocket inside Build a Boat. As you guys can see, it's like a little spy device where there's a camera at the top and you get a full 360 view when you're actually controlling it. All right, so when you're actually using this thing, you guys can actually get to the end with it because it uses a cool magnet glitch that I've used in past videos, such as my flying car and flying orb. But anyways, let's just give it a quick test run real quick. So right here, when I flick this switch, as you guys can see, it emerges in into the RC rocket. And with this thing, you guys can actually get to the end. So let me just do a quick demonstration so i'm gonna align myself with the water and i'm just gonna activate the magma glitch and it should take us all the way to the end so it's already starting to float and we're gonna pass through the black wall and get into the stages we have some mushrooms over here and as you can see we are going a little too high so you guys can actually angle yourself down like so and there we go we're flying through all of the stages and we are now at the end so you guys can basically take anyone to the end and yes alrighty so we're back and basically in the default settings you guys can basically go up and down like so and basically using this you guys can also kidnap people so basically there's a seat that extends you guys can extend the seat like so and you guys can basically go up to people and just kidnap them and then bring the seat back up and then you guys can also launch them to the end so right over here we're gonna go to case sunny so he's just chilling right over here so you guys can basically pick him up so we're just gonna pick him up right here and as you guys can see we can just quickly take him into the rc rocket and now there's two things that you guys can do so you guys can either launch them to the end or you guys can just launch them into the void so if you were to do this quickly enough you guys can just quickly pick them up so right over here we're gonna actually go up into the sky and you guys can launch into the sky like so and you guys can go into the void and you guys can take them down into the void and there he goes. So this RC rocket can basically propel both upwards and forwards. So let's just take this guy to the end now. All right, so we got him again. So we're just gonna put him back inside of the rocket like so. And we're just gonna align ourselves right with the water and we're gonna launch him to the end to get him some free gold. So let's align ourselves, and I think that is straight. So let's go ahead and activate the actual rocket. And we are actually floating to the end. We're going straight through the stages and we might be going a little too high over the black hole, but that's okay. Cause he can get still some gold, but we're gonna go down a little bit once we get near the end so we're gonna come down right over here we kind of missed the end but we got him a little bit of gold no all right so you guys basically get the gist of this thing so you guys can go up and down around the whole buildable map and whatever you want you guys can launch yourself into the air or to the end you guys can go you guys can basically go up to someone and kidnap them with the activated seat so anyways let's go ahead and get into the tutorial all right, so for this build, you guys will be needing plastic, titanium, wheels from the legacy car pack, magnets, pistons, a servo, boat motors, a car seat, and that's basically it. This build does not require the trowel tool, so anyways, let's get started. So first, start by placing a titanium block anywhere on the ground, then scale it up one time. After that, scale it up until four studs, like so. And if you don't know what studs are, they're in the left middle right here. Then after that, go ahead and get a piston, place two of them like so. And before all this, make sure anchor block is on and merging level is on red. After that, go ahead and get a plastic block, then scale it up until 24 studs like so. Then we're going to be placing another piston right here. Then go ahead and activate the piston like so. After this, we're going to scale this bottom block 10 wide. So let's go ahead and scale it until 10 studs wide. This is 12 and now this is 10. You guys want it centered in the middle so you will see this dot and you guys want it centered with this middle block. After that, scale it 14 long. So I'm just going to scale it like so. This is 17 so let me just shrink it down a bit. And we got 14 studs right here and it's centered. After that, go ahead and place a plastic block right here and scale down until 10 studs like so. And there we go. Now just place the plastic block right here and scale it out until eight studs like so. Then scale it all the way out like this. And then you guys should add the single block right here. Then you guys will do the same on the other side. So just align another block 
right here. Then after that, place another one after that, then delete these. Then scale it out until eight studs. And this is the distance that we're gonna be making the blocks. After that, set your scale onto 0.5 and scale each one up like so. There we go. Now we're gonna scale this until 14 wide. So go ahead and select it and we're just gonna scale it until 14 and make sure it's aligned in the middle. So I'm gonna just place a block over here to make sure this dot's in the middle as a reference point. And that's 16, and there we go, 14. So that was just a reference point block. So I'm just gonna place another one over here just so I can find the center. So I'm just gonna scale it until 14, like so. And that is uneven, so let me just scale it over. And there we go. So now we can just delete that block. After that, we're gonna get our titanium block. We're gonna place one on each side like this. And there we go. There we go. After that, go ahead and place a plastic block up here, these two like so. Then scale up one time, then set your scale onto 0.5 and scale down on each one. So let me, let me put my scale back to one. I'm gonna scale up 0.5, scale down like so. Then you guys just wanna go ahead and connect this right here like so. We're gonna do the same right here and connect it. You guys are gonna wanna paint this red so then we can clearly have this later on for the video. So anyways, now what you guys wanna do is place boat motors. You guys can place any boat motor that you guys want. I'll be using the premium bolt motors. So I'm just gonna place one right here and one right here like so. It doesn't have to be specifically anywhere. It just has to be up on the top half portion. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and get a servo. We're gonna go ahead and place it right here like so. And then we're gonna get our motor and place it right here. After this, we're gonna connect this block until the bottom block. So we're gonna go ahead and get our plastic block. We're gonna, so we're gonna place a block right here and we're just gonna scale it in one time. Then we're gonna scale it all the way down right here so it matches that length. We're gonna place a block right here and we're just gonna scale it right here. And we're just gonna connect it like so. Then you guys can um, scale this down like this and it should be connected. After that, let's go ahead and fly up onto this platform. Then place the plastic block under this piston and place one on top. Then you guys are gonna get two wheels from the legacy car pack. So you guys are gonna get these wheels, place one halfway on this block and halfway on this block. Then you guys wanna go ahead and get your magnets. And you guys wanna place two over here and one over here. After that, go ahead and get another plastic block and we're gonna place one right here. Then set your scale to 0.5 and scale it down. Then we're gonna make it 22 studs long. So we're just gonna even it out until we have 22 studs. So this is 22, but it's not even. So I'm gonna scale this over like this. And there we go, that is 22 studs. After that, go ahead and place a titanium block on the back and the front, and then scale each one to 10 studs. So we're just gonna scale it until 10, until we get it even, that is not even, and there we go. Let's do the same over here. 10 studs, like so. After that, scale this block in one time. Then over here, scale this block in. Then set your scale to 0.5 and scale it all the way down. Now what you guys want to do is get any block of any kind. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this plastic block. Then after that, set your scale onto 0.1. Then scale it all the way in like so. After that, go ahead and get a seat. We're going to place it downwards like so. Then we're just going to delete this block that we had right here. There we go. And now we're actually going to be placing another plastic block on top of this. So we're going to place it right here. Then we're going to put our scale onto 1. Then we're just going to scale right here and right here. Then we're going to put our scale on the 0.5 and scale one time in like so. And one time in like so. Then we're going to put our scale onto back onto 0.1 and scale it all the way down. After that, we're going to set our scale onto 1 and we're going to scale it out one time like this. Then we're going to go ahead and get a piston. We're going to place it like this. Then go ahead and get another plastic block, delete the piston and replace the piston on this block. So I'm gonna place it facing downwards this time, like so, and there we go. Now we're gonna set our scale onto one and scale out this block until four studs. We're gonna get another plastic block, so let's go ahead and get one right here. Then you're just gonna set your scale to one and scale down until nine studs, like so. After that, just go ahead and place a block right here and it should be connected. Now we're gonna be going ahead and getting another plastic block. We're gonna place it right here. Then we're gonna scale it one time, like so, with one scale. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our glass block. So we're gonna place our glass block right here. Then we're gonna put our scale onto 0 0.5. 
then scale down one time like so. After that, place another glass block on the bottom of this block and scale it up one time so it's 1.5 studs. After that, we're going to put our rotate onto 45 degrees and our move onto 0.5, then rotate two times and tilt one time like so. We're going to place a glass block right over here and right over here. I actually place, misplaced this block, so let me redo it. So I'm going to place it right, right here. And we're going to do the same for the bottom, so go ahead and place one right here and one right here. After that, put your scale onto one, scale up one time right here and scale up, then scale all the way in and all the way in over here, scale up, then up here, then all the way in and all the way in over here. We're going to scale down and scale down over here, then all the way down and all the way down. Then over here, scale down, scale down, then all the way down and all the way down over here. Now we're going to place another block right on this corner and over here on this corner we're going to scale in one time then scale all the way in like so scale in scale all the way in put your scale to 0 0.5 and scale up one time on each side like so after that we're going to place another plastic block on this glass block right here with 0 0.5 move then go ahead and set your scale onto 0 0.2 and scale down one time like so after that we're going to place another plastic block right here and we're going to use 0.2 and scale it all the way down to 0.8 like so. After that, go ahead and place another plastic block right over here. Put your scale onto 0.5. So let's put on 0.5. Then scale it all the way in like so. And do the same over here. Place a block and scale it all the way in. Now we have more of the front of the rocket. So go ahead and place another plastic block at the front. Then we're going to use our 0.5 scale to scale down like so and scale up. Then scale in and scale in. And I think this is good. So now we're going to go ahead and place a camera at the front. You guys will be wanting to use the 3D camera so you guys have all the vision that you guys need. I'm going to have my rotate onto 90 to make things easier. Then place the camera like so. Now we're going to be working on the back of the RC rocket. So hop over here. And we're actually going to be placing our thing right here. Make sure your move is on 0.5. We're going to be placing plastic blocks. Place one right there. Then you guys are going to put your scale onto one, like so. Then scale up one time and scale out one time. Now turn on match rotation and we're going to do the same over here. We're going to place one block right here. We're going to scale out one time, then we're going to scale in. After that, go ahead and in place your block right here, like so. Then place another one right here. Then you guys are going to want to scale down and scale down over here. Do the same over here. Scale down and scale down right here. After that, set your scale onto 1. And we guys are just going to scale out one time like so. And one time over here. After that, do the same thing on the bottom ones. So match rotation is on. Place a block right over here and right over here. Now we're going to be doing the same on the bottom. So go ahead and place a plastic block right over here. Then scale it out one time like so with scale one. Then go ahead and place two plastic blocks right over here. We're going to put our scale on 0.5. We're going to scale in and scale in like so. Over here we're going to scale in and scale in like so. Then we're going to put our scale back to one and extend out one time like this and like this. After that you guys want to turn off match rotation and you guys are going to place a block right over here like so and right over here like so. So make sure your blocks are placed like this. Then go ahead and scale down like so and scale down like this. Put your scale onto 0 0.5 so you can match these little edges like this and match this edge right here. Then match this and this. Then scale in and scale in like this and extend out until it fits every part of the rocket like so. After that, we're going to be making the fins now. So go ahead and return on match rotation. Put your move onto one. We're going to place a block on each little corner side. So we're going to place one right there, one right there, and leave a gap, a little bit gap in the front. So we're just going to place another one over here and another one over here. After that, put your scale onto 0 0.5 and scale all the way down on each little fin. So we're just going to place it like so. After that, use 0 0.5 scale again and scale in one time on the top and the bottom of each fin. So we're going to do top, bottom, over here, top and bottom, 
and over here top that was a little bit too much top and bottom one time each now we're going to put our scale back to one and we're going to scale out two times on each side so one two one two one two and one two after that place a plastic block on each of the back of the fins like so then use 0.2 scale and then we're going to scale it in until it's right over here like so so make sure there's this much of a gap on each one and we're going to scale it in like this that's a little bit there we go and over here like so then we're going to scale the bottom piece up like this on each side so we're just going to scale the bottoms on this side and the tops on over here and there we go then we can go ahead and scale all the way up on each one like so and then all the way down on each little corner over here then we're going to scale this part all the way up over here and scale these parts all the way up like so and you guys should have these little booster fins so i'm just going to select this one and scale a little bit more up so it becomes a little bit more wider over here i'm scaled down one and down one over here so there we go now we have the fins so we basically built everything so let's go on to screwdriver and binding so first what you guys want to actually do is place down a switch so i'm just gonna go ahead and get a switch and place it down like so then everything should be connected to that switch after that go ahead and get a car seat we're gonna place one down like so if it's connected to anything debind it like this and make sure that there is nothing connected to it after that go ahead and get two switches we're gonna place two of them down so we're gonna place one down like so and as you guys can see it connected to this boat motor we're just gonna disconnect it like so then go ahead and place another one and then disconnect it like so then you guys can go ahead and delete this switch that's connected to everything so just go ahead and delete that one so you guys should have this chair and two switches so first select all the boat motors and select your car seat on mobile it shouldn't have anything that pops up but if you're on pc put forward as w right as d left as a and backwards as s after that go ahead and select this piston right here and go ahead and select the camera over here so this will be basically the setup and select the switch over here like so so the first switch right here should be binded to the camera and the piston next select this servo and bind it to the chair put left as a and right as d then go ahead and use the screwdriver tool select the servo and turn on reverse rotation if you have trouble turning later on turn off reverse rotation on this servo right here if you guys if your guys is turning is reverse so i'm gonna leave it on because i'm pretty sure the settings where you have to leave it on but on mobile i'm pretty sure you guys can just leave it but i advise that you guys test it out first after that go ahead and select this piston and go ahead and select this switch over here and then this is an extra thing if you are on pc so if you're on pc you guys can do this if you're on mobile you guys cannot but you guys can select these two pistons and select this chair put pull as q and push as e so this will basically make the whole thing go up and down you guys don't need to have this but it's nice to have if you're on pc the last thing you guys want to do is select these magnets over here select so select all of these three magnets and select the chair on mobile it won't show anything but put activate as f if you are on pc now we're going to move on to the screwdriver tool go ahead and select all and put server torque onto green and piston speed onto 10 default it's 5 and it's a little slower so put it on 10. after that go ahead and select all and turn off collision so we're going to turn off collision like this then select each little red uh, block over here and turn on collision so on mobile you guys can select these one by one and turn on collision for all four blocks otherwise on pc you guys can hold shift and multi-select after that go ahead and select this piston right over here attached to this seat and click this piston link three times so your piston link should be on 7.3 like so after that select everything invisible except the rocket and this piston in the seat so i'm going to select all of this over here and we're just going to select all of it to make it transparent so no one can actually see it right we're also going to get this piston up here and we're going to get all these magnets and all of this little stuff that we actually built into the mechanics put transparency onto 100 percent and you guys should be left with the rocket i'm gonna put these two pistons on 100 percent transparency too and you guys should be left with the rocket the seat and the piston all right so now we're done with the whole tutorial so let's go ahead and set it up 
Now to set it up, go ahead and select all and unanchor with the screwdriver tool. Then what you guys want to do first is click on this switch to put the seat down. Then click on this switch to set it up. After that, you guys have this little RC rocket. You guys can go ahead and go over here. So once you pick someone up, you guys can go ahead and exit the camera. You guys can click on this switch to lift up the seat. Then click this switch two times. So we're going to click it, exit out the camera, and click it again. So you guys should be back right here. Then after that, you guys can go ahead and go wherever you guys want. So I'm just going to come over here. And I think I forgot to attach this fin. But anyways, let's go over here. Then go ahead and align yourself with the billboat water to actually go to the end. Then click on F to activate the magnet glitch. And after that, you guys should be floating with the person inside of the RC rocket. So anyways, if you watch to the end, go ahead and feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy having this little RC rocket. You guys can also go down by pressing W or forward. So anyways, I'll see you guys later.